Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2515 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow if you have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, we'll continue exploring Psalm 36. In the previous verses, David reflected on the nature of sin and its devastating effects. In verses 5 through 9, David turns our focus on God's character, celebrating his love, faithfulness, righteousness, and provision. These verses contrast humanity's sinfulness with God's majesty and goodness, drawing our hearts to worship and gratitude. Let's begin by reading Psalm 36, verses 5 through 9 from the New Living Translation. Your unfailing love, O Lord, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains, your justice like the ocean depths. You care for people and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your unfailing love, O God. All humanity finds shelter in the shadow of your wings. You feed them from the abundance of your own house, letting them drink from your river of delights. For you are the fountain of life, the light by which we see. David begins this section with verse 5 by declaring, Your unfailing love, O Lord, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds. This verse paints a breathtaking picture of God's love and faithfulness. David compares God's love to the heavens, emphasizing the immeasurable and infinite nature. The vastness of the sky reminds us that God's love is beyond human comprehension. It's limitless, all-encompassing and enduring. Likewise, God's faithfulness is described as extending beyond the clouds. Faithfulness here refers to God's reliability and unwavering commitment to His promises. God remains steadfast no matter what happens in our lives or the world around us. He is faithful to His Word, His character, and His people. These descriptions offer us comfort and assurance. In a world where relationships and commitments often falter, God's love and faithfulness stands firm. When we feel uncertain or overwhelmed, when we look to the heavens and be reminded that His care for us is unfailing and eternal. In verse 6, David continues to exalt God's character. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains, your justice like the ocean's depths. You care for people and animals alike, O Lord. Here David uses the imagery of nature to describe God's righteousness and justice. The mighty mountains symbolize strength, stability, and permanence, reflecting God's righteousness and unchanging perfect nature. Just as the mountains are immovable, God's righteousness is unwavering. It forms the foundation for His rule and His actions. David then compares God's justice to the ocean depths. The ocean, with its vastness and mystery, represents a profound and infinite nature of God's justice. While we may not always understand His ways, we can trust His justice to be perfect and complete, extending to every corner of creation. The final line of this verse highlights God's care for all living things. You care for people and animals alike, O Lord. This statement reflects God's compassion and provision. His care isn't limited to humanity. It extends to all creation. This is a reminder that God's intimately involved in sustaining life, providing both the great and the small, humans and animals alike. In verse 7, it brings us a deeply personal reflection of God's love. How precious is your unfailing love, O Lord! All humanity finds shelters in the shadow of your wings. David marvels at the precious nature of God's love. The word precious implies great value, something to be treasured and cherished. God's unfailing love is vast, powerful, and deeply personal, and it's also comforting. The imagery of finding shelter in the shadow of God's wings evokes a sense of safety and protection. It's a picture of a mother bird shielding her young, offering warmth and security under her wings. This metaphor reminds us that God is our refuge. In times of trouble, we can come to Him and find peace, knowing that He will protect and care for us. This verse also emphasizes the universal nature of God's love. All humanity is invited to shelter in Him. God's love is not exclusive. It is available to everyone who seeks Him. No matter what our background, our status, or struggles, we can experience the safety and rest that comes from being in His presence. David continues in verse 8. You feed them from the abundance of your own house, letting them drink from your rivers of delight. This verse shifts from God's protection to His provision. The imagery of being fed from the abundance of God's house suggests that God's blessings are not limited or scarce. He provides generously, meeting our needs out of His infinite resources. 
The rippers of a delight are a beautiful metaphor for joy and satisfaction that comes from being in a relationship with God. Rivers are life-giving, providing nourishment and refreshment. Similarly, God offers us a spiritual sustenance and the joy that overflows in His presence. The verse reminds us of the true fulfillment that comes not from the things of this world, but from God Himself. When we trust in God's provision, we can live with a sense of gratitude and contentment. He meets not only our physical needs, but also our deeper longings of the heart. His blessings are abundant, and He invites us to drink deeply from His goodness. In verse 9, David concludes this section with a profound declaration. For you are the fountain of life, the light by which we see. This verse captures the essence of who God is and what He offers to those who trust in Him. The phrase, the fountain of life, emphasizes that God is the source of all life, physical, spiritual, and eternal. Just as the fountain provides fresh, flowing water, God sustains and refreshes us. He is the origin of our existence and the one who breathes life into our soul. The second line, the light by which we see, speaks of God's guidance and revelation. The light represents clarity, truth, and direction. Without God, we are like people walking in darkness, unable to find our way. But through His Word and His Spirit, God illuminates our path, helping us to see clearly and to live in alignment with His will. This verse invites us to depend on God for our source of life and truth. When we draw close to Him, we experience the fullness of life and the clarity that comes from walking in the light. Psalm chapter 36 verses 5 through 9 is a beautiful reminder of God's greatness, His love, and His provisions. This verse invites us to reflect on the vastness of His character and the depths of His care for us. Here are a few key takeaways. First, God's love is limitless and unfailing. Just as the heavens stretch beyond our sight, God's love knows no bounds. It is constant, enduring, and available to us at all times. Second, God's righteousness and justice are perfect. The stability of the mountains and the depths of the ocean remind us that God's ways are unchanging and trustworthy. Even when life feels uncertain, we can rest in His righteousness and just nature. Third, God is our refuge and provider. He provides us shelter in His love and satisfies our need from His abundant resources. Whether we're seeking protection, peace, or joy, God is the source of all we need. And fourth, God is the fountain of life and light. True life and clarity come from God alone. When we seek Him, we are refreshed and guided, experiencing the fullness of His presence. As we reflect on these truths, let us take time to thank God for His unfailing love and rest in the assurance that He is our protector and our provider. Thank you for joining me today on our Wisdom Trek as we explored Psalm 36 verses 5 through 9. These verses remind us of the greatness of God's love and faithfulness and of the life and light that He offers to those who trust in Him. As we go about our day today, I encourage you to reflect on His abundant blessings and find rest and joy in His presence. Until the next time, may God's wisdom guide your steps and may His love fill your heart with peace and contentment. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.